Hi guys. So today I'm going to talk uh, about weight loss plateau and how to break through your weight loss plateau. Okay guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I can see we are growing to the new subscribers. Mwah! Welcome to the family, to my returning subscriber. Welcome, welcome back. I appreciate you. I I am very pleased and overwhelmed with your responses in regards to my weight loss journey and thank you for commenting for liking and also for sharing okay and for subscribing for the my new subscribers so in today's video i'm going to talk to you about a weight loss plateau so what is weight loss plateau a weight loss plateau is whereby that you've been uh, on your weight loss journey you've been losing uh, weight uh, on a consistent way and then all of a sudden you you reach a point where the scale ain't moving that's what is called a weight loss plateau even though that you haven't changed anything and uh, you do what is right but the scale is not moving so today we are going to talk about uh, we are going to talk how to break through that weight loss plateau okay guys so Point number one, if you've been doing keto diet and it has been working for you uh, very well, it's high time for you to reduce your dietary fats. Yes, because the reason why you increase your dietary fats is because um, you, wanted, uh, for it, it, you wanted it to help you keep you full for longer to avoid cravings and hunger and now that you have uh, reached a point where the hunger is no longer controlling you reduce your dietary fats okay yes and then the other thing you should do or what i did you should do longer fasts if you are used to do 16 8 18 uh, 6 or omad try to to increase your your hours of fasting maybe try 24 hours try 36 hours try 48 hours and then try 72 hours i did that i i started now doing more of 72 hours and uh, after i did 72 hours and then i noticed like okay the scale isn't moving uh, so much because uh it reached a point where uh, on October to November, I lost 10 kilograms. I shared on my previous videos. But on the, on November, for the whole of November, uh, till the like end of November, I was still 68 kilograms, meaning I, I had already hit a plateau. And it really stressed me a lot. So what I did, I started to do longer fast. I did 72 hours uh, thrice. And I see, I saw like, okay, the scale isn't moving. So I tried to do like five days. And the moment I started doing five, five days and uh, also uh, it was moving, but it wasn't moving that fast. So like it was moving in grams. So I decided like, no, I need to do something else. So what did I do next? I did, I, I tried the metabolic confusion way. So what is uh, metabolic confusion? It's commonly known as calorie shifting. It's the practice of alternating your calorie intake between higher and lower amounts to confuse your metabolism. This method I saw, you know, when I was uh, going through YouTube, there are those ads. So I came through an ad by Vshed. Yes, so Vished, he, he asked questions about your height and uh, your weight so that he can know your body type. After you, he knows your body types, he explains to you ways and hacks that uh, your body needs so that you can lose some extra kilograms. And I'm according to my BMI, I'm, I'm endomorph. So as an endomorph, sometimes it's tricky and uh, most of the endomorphs have, are advised to try uh, 
what metabolic confusion way so this is uh, a way of uh, shifting your calories intakes so that's what i did and um, it worked yes as long as you make sure that it won't you will control your hunger it's not it's not going to be a problem so i started taking uh, introducing carbs again in my body uh, i i set aside the keto for a while and now i started eating carbs 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 and then after for one week i'm doing carbs the next week i'm doing lower carbs and that's how i broke through my weight loss plateau and now my scale started moving now from 68 i went to 67 to 66 and now i'm at 65 yes so you can try that to see it all depends with your body types and it also depends if you if you can control your hunger you can try the metabolic confusion and then the other thing you can do you also try to to sleep well to sleep more and also reduce your stress okay reducing stress you know stress uh, encourages like when you are in you are you are stressed you there is a hormone called cortisol and cortisol uh, messes with your insulin so guys uh, try to reduce your stress and also sleep well you you get enough sleep at least six uh, seven eight hours okay yes another thing that you should do is to reduce your okay for for some people you can reduce your carb intake okay you reduce your carb intake maybe you you are doing 50 grams per day you can reduce to 25 grams per day okay what you, sh you should start first by reducing your carb intake if you are taking high carbs like for 50 grams and if you are not taking high carbs you can try metabolic confusion okay guys we we our bodies are different and they act on different ways so it all depends with how your body works and how your body responds the way my body responds is not the same way your body will respond so it's all about trying and figuring out what and how your body works okay guys the other thing and my last uh, point is to um, i think that's it uh, yeah and also you should like uh, okay my last point is that you should not focus on the scale i know it's ironical like how will you know that you're on a uh, plateau if it's not uh, with the scale your scale may not uh, be moving but your inches you check around your midsection area if the inches are reducing there is no need of you feeling bad that the scale is not moving sometimes it's because if you are doing a keto diet and also you are doing some workouts you may lose fat but you are gaining muscle so you'll find you'll tend to see that or you'll find that your scale is not moving but if your inches are moving there is no need to cause uh, there is no need of uh, cause of alarm there okay guys so i hope this video help uh, in any way you can try those steps and if it's helpful and uh, you want to know more about it don't uh, feel shy to comment ask any questions you need and what else you want me to share okay guys bye love you Mwah.